Hey everybody, it's Liz. Today I just have a really quick card share for you. Uh, tomorrow is my hubby's birthday, and so I decided to make a quick little card for him. And uh, hopefully you guys like it. Of course, this is going to be a card with a masculine touch, because you know my husband is a man's man. Can't have flowers or anything girly on it. So let me share with you really quick the items that I used on my card. Okay, first of all, I started off with this paper pad here by Farmhouse um, Paper Company, and it is called Market Square. Uh, very, very cool paper pad. Uh, it's got a lot of vintage images, you know, the whole barbershop theme. It's just, it reminds me of, you know, like the 50s era, 50s, 60s era. So it's really cool. A lot of masculine colors, and like I said, it's got, you know, a really cool vintage feel. Okay, so that is the paper collection that I used. I also used the coordinating uh, chipboard adhesive. Uh, pieces here, and I have two packs, but I use this particular pack. There's a few um, chipboard pieces on it that I used on my card, so this was really fun to work with. And then this is the um, stamp that I used. I love it. Finally got a chance to use it. So it says, you're not old, you're vintage. <laughs> awesome. He's going to love it. So this is by Seven Gypsies. Very cool. Finally got a chance to use it. And then I also used this really cool um, steampunk frame from Saw Crafters. If you guys don't know who Saw Crafters is, you definitely have to check out her shop. She has the most amazing wood and chipboard products out there. And I will put the link down below to her store. But I use this particular frame. I love it. And it worked out perfectly. Um, you get two in the pack. And this is one that I still have left. So still have fun. Um, I can still use this on another project. So that will be really cool. I used that frame, I used some enamel dots, and these I had picked up, sorry about the glare, I picked these up at Michael's, so in the $1.50 bin, and then I used my good old Distress Ink in Vintage Photo, so very cool, so now let me share with you really quick the card I came up with, and it is a very cool easel card, so this is the card right here, and it is 6x6, six six. I wanted a nice big card, because typically when I make cards, the whole family signs it, and then we give it to hubby. So that's why I made it, you know, pretty big. So it's six by six, and I started off with the white cardstock, and then I used this darker bluish teal colored cardstock for my background because it really made the colors pop. And then I just went ahead and layered pieces of, of the, um, you know, the pattern paper, and I inked all of my edges with vintage photo, as you can see here. I wanted that, you know, that whole vintage look. And I think it turned out really cool. I love it. It's very vintage and still very masculine. So I think he's going to love it. And then my whole focal point, of course, is that, you know, gorgeous steampunk frame from Sawcrafter's shop. And I absolutely love the way that it looks already naturally, you know, with the wood. But I did went ahead, I went ahead and um, sort of inked all of the edges a little bit more with the vintage photo. So you can see how it's, you know, just a little bit darker along the edges, which is perfect. And then, um, you know, as you can see, I've got like a newspaper uh, piece of patterned paper that I tore one of the edges off. And I just wanted that for, you know, texture and stuff. And everything is, you know, popped up on foam tape for dimension and uh, even the frame. So I basically cut out this circle, this uh, piece of patterned paper, adhered it to the back of the frame and then adhered that to my card. And as you can see, it is a very, very dimensional card. There's lots of foam, tapes in, uh, foam tape in there for, you know, all the different layers. And then I just played around with the chipboard pieces. You know, I picked out a couple that I thought would be fun, like, you know, the Dilly Coin Laundry sign. I thought that was cool, this little sail. Um, definitely the little, um, you know, uh, soda bottle. I've got a vintage car. He loves vintage cars, so he'll appreciate that. And I just, you know, kind of made like a little collage, just kind of you know, stagger them and stuff, and then again have them popped up on foam tape. And then I just went ahead and did a little bit of paint splattering right here in the middle with some black um, glossy paint. I kind of wanted it to look like oil, because you know how you have a car and there's like little oil spills and things like that. So I just, I kind of wanted it to look like that. So really, really like it. I think it turned out really cool. And then I just felt like this corner was missing something, so I just added the two little enamel dots right on top just to, I don't know, kind of, it just looked like it was missing something, you know what I mean? So hopefully it worked out. But I love it, and I especially love the way that the frame just frames everything, you know what I mean? That's the focal point, and it's perfect. Okay, and I did mention this was an easel card, so it opens up like so. 
And down here, I just did the same thing, you know, used the teal cardstock, added the pattern paper, distressed it with vintage photo. For my sentiment, I typed it, uh, I mean, not typed it, but stamped it, you're not old, you're vintage, onto one of the pieces of pattern paper. And then again, I just layered the cardstock over another piece of cardstock, and then again, um, put some foam tape underneath. And then here are two more little chipboard pieces from the collection, and they're just two little pennies. I thought that would be cute. So I added them on there, and I did ink all of my little chipboard pieces with Vintage Photo as well. Now, here it's a little bit small, so I'm not going to have, this is not where I'm going to put my message. In fact, I'm going to put my message on the back. Okay, so what I did is I just cut out another piece of, um, you know, the teal paper, and then used the pattern paper, and then we're all going to write on here, and then what I'm going to do is once everybody's written their message, I'm just going to adhere it to the back, like so. And that way, you know, it'll have plenty of room for us to write what we need to write for hubby. So, I love it. I think it turned out really cool. And see, here it is. So, it's an easel card. All right. I think it turned out really cool. I love the vintage feel of it, of course. And I love that, you know, it's still very masculine, right? But it's got enough detail. So, it's not like, you know, so plain and boring. But... I love it. I hope he likes it too. Um, he's going to get a kick out of that one because I'm always telling him he's my old man. But he's not old. He's vintage. <laughs> Alright guys, well that is my card share for today. I hope you like it and hopefully I've inspired you to create your own masculine card for the love of your life. And um, that's it. So I just wanted to share that with you real quick before I put it away and have everybody sign it so we can give it to them tomorrow. Anyways, thank you so much for watching you guys. Have a great day everybody. I'll see you all real soon. Bye-bye.